Perhaps we can go another few decades without it. That would be nice. Certainly nothing else. Well, well. <laughs> All right. You delivered on your end, so I'll deliver on mine. Here's the gem Arniel was after. Can't imagine what he expects to do with that. It's warped beyond any ability to capture a soul. If you ever need something, I hope you've got some coin. Well, let's just take a look, then. All right. Perhaps, perhaps we can go another few decades. Do you? Wonderful. I was afraid I'd have to give up. And when I'm so close. Thank you for this. I have a great deal of work ahead of me. I'm going to find whoever did this. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk... Terrible. Just terrible. I vastly underestimated the heat transfer necessary and have destroyed my only working model. I'm at a loss. Don't patronize me. Look, it's all very simple. The Dwemer, they were, uh, masters of magic in a way we can't even begin to conceive of. Their greatest achievement, however, has also been their greatest, shall we say, mystery. Their disappearance, of course. Instant, unexplainable. The stories have fascinated me. Ever since I was young, I wanted to know what really happened. After years and years of work, I'm closing in on a way to investigate what happened through experimentation. Only now, well, it's simply a disaster. Without boring you with the, uh, details, I'm attempting to recreate the circumstances of the event. The dwarves were very clever, tapping into and drawing power from the heart of Lorcan itself. Lacking the heart of a dead god myself, I was attempting to substitute a rather specific soul gem, the, uh, one you helped me acquire. Well, yes, I mean, no. That is, it might. But I'm not completely sure. I'm no tonal architect. 
I've only read their writings. Scraps, really. The soul gem by itself isn't enough, you see. It needs to be altered, purified. The dwarves had machines for this sort of thing. I've attempted to build my own, based on designs and using parts you helped to provide. My very own dwarven convector. It worked, but not fully. And the, uh, the device was destroyed in the process. Hmm? No, no, no! I'm too close now. Can't take the time. Though, perhaps there's another option. I, um, I may require further assistance from you. Well, I... Don't you see? Unlocking this mystery. The story alone is worth more riches than you can even imagine. And perhaps... Well, I don't wish to speculate, but... What if we could contact the dwarves? What if they're still out there? Imagine. Well, yes. The designs for my convector were based on real dwarven machines, so there may still be some in existence. I'd go looking myself, but... Uh, yes, there are calculations to double and triple check. Uh, many calculations. Perhaps you could seek out these convectors in Skyrim ruins. I can even teach you the spell to heat them. It's very particular and very important. Wonderful. Just wonderful. I knew I could count on you. Now, this spell is not for defending yourself, but it's just right for heating the convector. At least three seconds burn is necessary. Just place the soul gem inside and heat the convector. At least three seconds. You'll almost certainly need to find multiple convectors. I suspect it may be due to the nature of the soul gem versus the crystals this was intended for. Destroys the equipment in the process. But, ah, it's effective. Three times, and the crystal should be ready for the next step. Isn't this exciting? All right, then. <laughs>